At the end of the 19th century, Canada became known worldwide as the land of hope and promise. This country attracted many citizens from abroad, including Francis Mawson Rattenbury of Leeds in England. In the July 5th, 1892 issue of the World newspaper was a notice to architects advertising a design competition for a new legislature building in Victoria. Rattenbury's application with the pseudonym a BC architect was filed along with 66 others. A falsified work history record, along with Rattenbury's prize-winning claims as a draftsman, accompanied a remarkable set of designs, and he won the prestigious 1893 contract. With his position soundly secured with the Canadian Pacific Railway, he was granted another contract to construct the one hotel that would change his life forever. On February the 19th, 1903, the announcement was made to build Victoria's famous landmark. It would sit majestically at the head of Victoria's Inner Harbour on the mudflats of James Bay. In 1925, a celebration was held at the Empress Hotel to recognise the opening of Crystal Gardens Centre, and Rattenbury was the focus of attention. On that evening, he felt rejuvenated and, with success on his mind, he met Alma Pakenham. The relationship between Alma and Rattenbury quickly developed. Both were starved for passion, especially Rattenbury. The Rattenburys were looking to hire a young man. George Percy Stoner answered the ad. He seemed to fit the job perfectly, perhaps too perfectly. No other architect has ever done more for a city than Francis Rattenbury had done for Victoria. His life was filled with almost every kind of sensationalism that would inspire filmmakers for years to come. He lied about his credentials, he had illicit sexual affairs, dizzying fame and wealth and recognition, then alcoholism and the fall from grace, and finally murder 